Hi, so today I'm going to show you the actual way to install Roblox on Linux, the best actual way. But before actually starting let me explain the story and the methods. So, this is the original video I made. This video uses Grape Juice which is the original program that allows running Roblox on Linux. And this is the latest video I made, which instead of Grape Juice uses Vinegar a newer program that allows to play Roblox on Linux. This program requires WineHQ which allows you to run Windows programs, the only problem WineHQ no longer supports Roblox natively and you will encounter various errors. Also, I always recommend installing Steam because it has some additional graphical files which help run Roblox much way smoother. The Point Grape Juice the nice thing about Grape Juice is that he is a graphical interference to control the configuration of Roblox and also for Roblox Studio 2. Vinegar To configure Vinegar you will need configure it in a file, which by the method I am going to use it will be really easy to configure. Install By the way, before actually continuing, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Oh yeah, and if you wish to try the manual way of installing grape juice or vinegar they are all linked in the description and also the required things in this video too. The installation is very easy. Select your Linux distro and follow the instructions, in my case, I have just copy and paste all the commands in the terminal and then reboot and I am done. After the reboot, Open the software store of Flathub Search Roblox and choose which program of Roblox you want to install. I already installed Vinegar, because grape juice after closing and opening Roblox a few times gets broke. So as you can see I am playing Roblox in Linux Ubuntu and it works fine on my computer. By the way before I had problems with Vinegar about the configuration of which GPU and graphic API to use, so let me show you how to configure Vinegar. Config To configure copy and paste in the terminal the following command. So you will get a file to configure in the terminal. Scroll down in the vinegar web page, copy the example and paste it into the file. To paste into the file press Ctrl plus V and make sure to remove the wine or root line. So my problem is the graphic API and which GPU to use with Roblox, I already tested and the best for me is D3D11 and adding the GPU parameter. Ah yeah yeah. Make sure to select channel live for Roblox, else you will get dev or canary state of Roblox player, which could have bugs and problems, and Roblox may stop working. So here is the GPU parameter, you should add it in the global, if you have like me an Intel plus Nvidia GPU, and vinegar keep using the Intel which means ton of lag, then add this parameter.
So now about the graphic API. So this are the following graphic API you can choose to run Roblox. For my Intel it runs really good with OpenGL, while Nvidia with D3D11 and Vulkan. Test it by yourself. After you are done, click Ctrl plus X, and it will ask you if you want to save the buffer, click Y and it will ask where to save, just hit enter, and like this, you finish the configuration. So as you can see it works fine. At this point if you are curious I will show some really hard games to run to check the performance. <laughs> performance test. So the first game will be Jailbreak, as you can see I did set it to max graphics. Inside the jail I get a very good amount of FPS and is very fluid and very similar to Windows. Now I am driving to the city, to get the helicopter, as you can see the frame rate is very good. After a fight and trying to help this guy but he refused to get in, I finally drive the helicopter. The frame rate most probably gets better in the day. So there was this guy, that did tell me to try these games because they should be very heavy, so let's try. In all this time I was using grape juice, this is the type of bug you will get after opening and closing Roblox a few times. And this is the amount of FPS I get in Dynamic Ship Simulator 3. This is the amount of FPS in Neo Warfare X, I didn't understand where to spawn the plane so I did spawn it into the water and it died. So I am once again in jailbreak but using vinegar, the FPS is very similar to grape juice. and also in Dynamic Ship Simulator 3 are very similar. In Neo Warfrex I did finally manage to fly a plane as should be. By the way, I see more FPS because maybe I am in a different part of the map. Ending. So you made it so far up to the ending, remember that all things shown in this video are in the description of this video. Oh yeah, and once again make sure to leave a big like, click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications on. Thank you very much for watching this video, if you are interested there are more videos on my channel, have a great day, goodbye. videos.